In this webinar, we're going to look at making your own spelling tests. But before I start, just to point out that is already a scheme of work in Purple Mash for spelling. So you can find it by clicking English on the front here, and you can see spelling scheme of work is there. You can see the different year groups. Or if you go to teachers, uh, you can see in the first tab planning, spelling scheme of work is there. If you want to get started with creating your own spelling test from scratch, you can also click tools, scroll down till you get to two quiz, click on two quiz, launch it, and click on the plus button there. And you can see there's a spelling option there. So you just click on that and OK and import your words. You might want to edit a spelling test that's already been created. So if we go to the spelling scheme work here, click on a year group, and we click on the quiz and we launch it. Heel, for example, her heel was hurting. OK, so this is the spelling test, but if I stop it, can you see down here I've got each of the spellings as a different slide. If I want to change the order of these for any reason, I can just drag them into a different order. If I want to edit them, then I can change them here. Um, what I can also do is save this. When I've finished, just click Save, give it a name. And then once that's been done, I can then set that as a task. So I can just click on the big button at the top there, click share and set it as a to do in the normal way. OK, so that's if you want to edit one that's already been built. If you want to create your own spelling test from scratch. Then when you go to the. Spelling scheme of work, you'll notice there is also a button down at the bottom here for making your own spelling quiz. Now, that is the same as going to two quiz and choosing the spelling option. So you will end up. Here. And you can just click on the plus button and you can type your words in, but you don't actually have to type your words in. You can just copy and paste them. So if I go to here this here's a spelling list that I've got already so if I just copy those and paste those in there you can see it's generated the slides and here I can decide how long they see the word for so this is a little bit like a digital look of a right check it shows you the word for a certain amount of time then disappears then you have to spell it but I have come across some schools who say, well, actually, I just want to be able to say the word. They don't see it um, and they complete the test. Well, in that case, just set how long they see the word for to no seconds at all. Uh, the other option you've got is dragging tiles to uh, create the quiz. Now, now, that works really well if you're using tablets. Uh, but you may want them to start using the keyboard more. So in that case, you can just say keyboard entry and that will decide how they input the word. You can choose how many questions you can choose the font title, whether or not there's uh, trick words, etc. And when you're happy with your options there, you can just click OK. And you can see here I've got my spelling test good to go. Now, the other thing that you might want to do at this point is you might want to put the word in context. So in that case, you could click on the little microphone button there. And just click record. And you could say here peace, as in they made peace at the end of the war. And then that you can see it's lit up in blue now that will play when this slide is run. OK, the other thing that you could do, of course, is you could phonically spell out 
the word as well. So if you'd put cat in here, you could just record k a t cat as well. So again, you've got the option there with the uh, with the record button. And if you set it to no seconds, of course, they won't see that at all. They'll just hear the recording. So, as I said before, you can rearrange the spellings into different orders here as well. Now, to get your spelling test ready, uh, you can click on the information button here. So this is what they would first see uh, when they launch the application. So you could put um, spellings for the week. So here I've given it a title. If I want to add a picture. Again, it could be a photograph of the class if you wanted them it, to do that. Or you could just put some pencils in or something like that. You can put your instructions. Here are your spellings for this week. And uh, you can even add an audio uh, to that as well so you can speak it. The other thing that you can do here is you can give them a time limit. You can change the correct sound and the incorrect sound if you uh, if you want to do that. Uh, you can change all the sort of colour schemes as well if you if you need to and uh, just click OK when it's as you uh, would like it. OK, up here, uh, there's a couple of options. Uh, this button, uh, if you're going to show the word, decides whether it's an animation or whether the word just sort of fades out. And here you can choose different types of uh, buttons uh, for the letters or tiles or um, keyboard as well. OK. The cog button here. You can decide whether it's in order or whether it's sort of random. When you've got it as you want it, click on here save give it a, a, a name and then once you've saved it there you can then share it and you can set it as a to do so you give it a title you can give audio instructions and then what you could do if you wanted to here you could add the spelling test so you could in the instructions here say uh, here are your spellings for the week have a look at those first and then complete the spelling test and you could add the spellings at this point and they don't ha that doesn't have to be a purple mash document that could be a word or a pdf or something like that as well all right and then you can set it as you normally would with a to-do, you could set it for the whole class or you could set it for a group of pupils as well. OK, so the normal to-do process uh, for that one. If you're looking for the results of your spelling tests, you just need to head for the data area at the top here. So you click on there, scores, two quiz spelling. Here's one I did earlier. You can see Adam got eight out of ten, so he got accuracy of 80%. And if I click the little plus button here, I can see which spellings he got right, which he got incorrect and how he spelt it as well. So, again, that can be quite useful uh, for analysing uh, where they're up to and where they've made uh, mistakes. And of course, these these reports can export to uh, Excel if you need them to. Finally, I have been asked if the dictation could be used as a spelling test. So. If we go to the teachers and the spelling scheme, and we look at one of these here, you can see each set of resources does include a dictation. So if I click on the dictation here, here you go, there's a dictation there. There's the words that we uh, we need to use. Now, I have been asked, can they fill this in uh, online? Well, yes, you could actually. What you could do here is if you click the print button and you make sure that you select save as a PDF and then instead of all you say custom and then you just put page one in 
can you see it's just going to print that but it's going to create it into a PDF so if I click save there and give it a, a name and save it it's gone into my downloads then all I need to do is go to my work folder here upload like so click on it and set it as a to-do uh, again audio supporting documents um, if you like if I click next next give it a date give it an end date and then at this point it says do you, do you want them to download it well no actually you probably want them to launch the PDF annotator and then you set it as a to-do and then what that will mean is the children can actually complete uh, the PDF by just clicking in the gaps and typing in the words and then they can hand that in as they normally would with a to-do so if you would if you want to do that that is uh, an option so hopefully uh, you found that uh, useful um, if you need to get uh, back to us you can uh, you can go to the teachers area here and professional development uh, you could book a mass chat one to one with one of us you can see various other webinars there's a training platform here uh, as well and if you need to contact me it's andrew at a number two simple dot com.